all right this is just going to be a, a quick and dirty on how to make uh, premium hangers um, I loaded uh, Verbal's premium hanger on the forums for download um, pretty much picture this but see that beige back there all of this is beige no clan logos no clan logo no clan logos up here um, this is the hanger that I made uh, pretty much redid every single texture in it whenever you do I'm using windowed mode right now to show you because the recorder doesn't do full screen but um, it's darker than it actually looks now a couple things I want to show you first is notice how you get like the shine on the block okay that's gonna be done in your shine map and see how it actually looks like cobblestone like you can actually see depth that's gonna be done with a normal map whereas this is the texture this is done with the just the regular picture alright so what you just saw me showing you was the floors okay hanger P floor these are all the files that come with any of the premium hangers that you download I recommend downloading anybody's just to get these files so you can overwrite them because this is all done in your res mods folder you can go uh, res mods 8.0 I think it's content interface then shells and then premium hanger um, obviously your res mods doesn't have anything in there for it so you have to download somebody's so you have the file structure to copy over but I downloaded the floor which is the texture I made here now each one has three parts there's floor there's floor shine map which makes things you know have the shine to them obviously then there's the normal map which gives it the depth alright so we started off with the floor which is 512 by 512 I downloaded a snippet or a little picture off the internet um, it looks like this notice how the bricks are bigger it's because I took this image which is 432 by 360 and chopped a piece of it and uh, just kept filling a big 512 by 512 block until it looked good okay because you know everything's cut here like see how this blocks a little piece is bigger you got to kind of piece it together so it makes a, uh, a flowing image which eventually will look like this okay so once you get that the size that the game wants 512 by 512 you save it as your hanger P floor now you're gonna need a shine map that's the second part of it now notice the shine map is, is a grayscale image the lighter the color the more shine it's gonna have in the game the darker the color the less it has that just gives it like a like a format like a texture so when you look at something it doesn't all glow or it's all dark it kinda gives it that 3d look as far as lighting goes now this is gonna be made off of that first picture so I'm gonna close this so I can save so we have this to start with I go to image I go to adjustments and I go to black and white okay that just killed all the color now when you're doing full screen it tends to shine a little bit more so I like to use the darker version of it It doesn't do that much of a difference but it does take a lot of the shine away so I hit OK so now this is all I need for my shine map just the, the grayish version so this is still hangar P floors so I go to file save as hangar P floor shine map save now you're gonna need the NVIDIA DDS plugin for Photoshop which is what I'm using which is Photoshop CS5 just download it for your version install it and when you do and you go to save you'll get this screen there's gonna be two different screens ones for the filter and ones for saving I use DXT5 um, interloped or interpolated or whatever it is I really don't know what it does but I know that it gives me a better end result the only thing you need to change here is I checked generate MIPS and normal map settings I use normalize okay these are gonna be set off the other screen which I'll show you in a little bit so you hit once you set these you don't gotta play with them you just keep hitting save every time you go through alright now you have your shine map okay now this one is made off of the shine map you kinda do it in steps so close that so now that you have this you wanna go to uh, filter go down to video tools and normal map I use uh, I check invert Y because that's what's gonna give you the Y is the plane that gives you um, dark goes down lighter colors go up you'll understand that in a second 
but that means that the dark lines, the separations in the block are going to sink in where the lighter colors, the block itself is going to pop out. That's going to give you that depth. Now remember, dark is deep, light is higher. So if you have a, if you're trying to do a texture of a steel beam and for some reason the rivets are darker, you're going to uncheck that box. That way the darker rivets will pop instead of sink. Um, this I leave at 2.2. I make sure these three boxes are checked and I go with height and max RGB. Then I hit OK and see how it gives me the 3D look on that. Not quite as much detail as I want. So I go over here to layers. I copy this duplicate layer, hit OK. Now it didn't make any changes until I set this layer for overlay and it stacks them. Got a little bit more detail. Okay. Um, do it again, copy that layer, duplicate layer, get a little bit more detail. And then I would save that, of course, uh, before I save it. You have three different layers here. It's going to ask you what you want to do with that. So first, go to Layer, Flatten Image. Now it's just one picture instead of three layers. I go to File, Save As, Hangar P Floor, Normal Map. Yeah, crap, I'm bad with the double clicks. Sorry. There we go. Hit OK. And Save. OK. And there you have the how to make from the picture to the shade map to the normal map. Now this is a pretty easy one because floors and walls are just one giant texture. They just keep repeating a pattern. Um, but say now we're going to work on changing stuff. Okay, so say you downloaded my my premium hanger and you didn't like my cobblestone floors. So what you do is you would open up hanger P floor and say you just wanted a, a flat concrete floor. Um, I already downloaded a texture for that, so we'll go to uh, open desktop do, 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 do. Where are they at? textures concrete floor image 10 okay now remember I said it has to be 512 by 512 so you go to image image size now I uncheck constraint properties because if I check that whenever I change this one let's show you I'll do 512 it automatically figures out what this one is to keep it in that same rectangular proportions I don't want that I want a perfect square so I uncheck that and now I can change them separately and it'll change the shape. Ideally what you want to do is start with an image that is much bigger than you want and shrink it down that way you don't lose detail and you don't get that fuzzy stuff from you know stretching up or stretching. But this didn't look too bad. It kind of looks the same. Um, so I'd start with that and what I would do is I would drag a square over it and uh, copy that. So you go to edit and copy. Now my hanger P floor, I would just edit, paste. Now my floor is that you know funky looking concrete, and you save that. Okay, hanger P. Oops, let's try to flatten that. See that's how that's what you do if you don't flatten it first. So you got a layer, ooh, flatten image. Now it's one thing, and now you can save it. It's gonna be saved as hanger P floor. Yes. Okay, but now you got to make. Let me close all this other stuff here. No, I don't want to do any editing. Okay, now you got to make your shine map. So you go to image, adjustments, black and white. Okay, it didn't make much of a difference because we started with kind of a gray image. So on this one, you won't notice something. But if your thing was bright purple, you'd definitely notice it. All right, so now. That's been changed, so you go to File, Save As, and make it your shine map. Save. OK. Save. Now you need your texture map. Now it doesn't look like there's much texture there, but you'll see it here in a second. So you want to go to Filter, Video Tools, Normal Map. All this is going to be set the way it was before. Just hit OK. Now you see you kind of got the bumping on it. And duplicate layer. OK. Set this one for overlay. Now I don't want too much too much texture. I don't want a funky looking floor, so I'll go with that. Layer, flatten image, file, save as, hanger p floor nm, save. Okay. Now to see what that did, open the game back up. 
All you got to do is just disconnect from the server and then reconnect and it will reload it for you. Because I'm working out of the folder that I'm using. And now we have a concrete floor. Okay. Now see how the shine, you can, now you can see with the shine on it, it has a texture to it. It looks kind of 3D, like there's dips and grooves and bumps. Okay. So now you're saying, okay, now I got that. How do I get rid of them funky clan logos? Because I'm not TSM, I'm not a meme. Okay, not a problem. Let's shrink that. That, the overlay texture, is file, open, UV2. Now this beige is what gives the rest of the floor and walls and everything that beige texture. This here, this square, you can see the little notch there. This right here is where your tank sits. And these are the two sideboards that flank it with my logos. Right around in here is the other section that comes down from the second floor. But uh, if you wanted to get rid of these and put anything else in there, this is the one you'd want to edit. Um, if you just want to see how I quickly turn it all beige, just select that area, go to edit clear and edit fill I want to do it with a color um, eyedropper color okay okay deselect all right now the UV map is just all beige there's no uh, normal map or shade map for this you just save it wait till my little pinwheel of death is done there we go all right, go back in here. Oh, disconnect from server. Right, reconnect. And bada boom, bada bing. You have an all base floor with the concrete texture. Okay. Actually, I kind of like that. All right. Now, let me show you something here. I'm going to point these out when I go into a different thing. Here we see these wood here and the grills and these wood. I'm going to show you where those are at now. So you can change the details, um, like the railings and stuff. Um, notice on my cables on the walls, those are rope. Well, they're rope now, but it's not what they started out as. They started out as, let's see here where stripes at. I always lose stuff in this. Stripes. See this rope? Just that rope is the cables. Okay. And... Details, details, details. And details. This is all the stuff in your hangar. These are the wood things I showed you. Okay. Uh, it's just to show you that it's kind of spread out everywhere and put in funky places. So this big wooden door with the iron straps across it. This is your hangar door. So say you want to make that look different. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. So we zoom in a little bit here. That way we don't lose anything. And Go back up to it. All right, so I want to change this. So I select this. You want to try and get it as close as you can to the actual edge of just that little section there. You'll get the hang of it. I'm just being quick here, so it's not quite perfect, but you get the idea. See, I'm a little bit far on this side, a little bit short on this side. This is just for an example. Be perfect on your own. Um, I go to edit. I go to clear. And then I'm just going to do a purple door just to show you real quick. Um, the easy way to, to match a texture, I uh, might as well show you. Okay, say you want to do a texture. So now you have the door cut out and gone. Go to, now this is still selected. So you go to edit and uh, copy. All right. And file in new. This will show you the size of that square you just made. Okay. So I have a texture for that. So I go to file, open. Just, uh, yada, yada. Sorry, this is more of a ramble than an explanation. I'm going to use broken window. So I'm going to open that. Okay, this is what I'm going to replace it with. So now I go back to this thing. Image, image size, 555 by 374. So I want to reshape this. So I go to 555 by 374. Okay. Oh, try that again, genius. There we go. And all I would do is select it again, hit uh, edit, copy, go back to my first one, and hit edit, 
paste. All right. So now I've replaced it with the front door with broken glass. And I would go to File, Save. And I would probably flatten my layer first because I told you to do that. There you go. Now I go to File and Save. Then I got to make my shine map. Adjustments. Black and white. A little bit darker. Okay. And then we'll save that one as uh, Hanger P Details. Shine map. Yes. Save. And now we got to make the normal map. So we got a filter, NVIDIA, normal map. Okay. See how the, the glass kind of pops now? Do a layer or two. Decay layer. It's good enough for me for right now. Layer. Flatten image. File. Save as. Hang repeat details. Normal map. Save again. I go back to this. Escape settings. Oops, what am I doing? Disconnect from the server, yes. And then reconnect. And now we have a broken glass front door. And you can actually see the cracks pop out a little bit. But that's pretty much how you just keep doing uh, textures on it. Just keep changing stuff. I mean, you can see where you can cut these out, like these little drawer things. Um, the easiest way, like I said, is download one that you that somebody else has already done, so you have the files. But also, um, I downloaded one off the Russian site. Um, I think it's Mirkov.net or something like that. Really good site, by the way. Has a lot of stuff. But I use their. <laughs> I got a U.S. hanger off the Russian site. Don't ask. But uh, like their UV. See, this is. The floor where the tanks sit, the other floor, second floor. He went crazy with details. So when you look at like this bar here, you know this is the ductwork. Okay, you, this actually is your hangar door. You know that this is the uh, the left wall. This is the right wall. What you do is you load their hangar in, and then you actually use it, and you look around the hangar and you see where stuff is at. But like I said, the more details you put in, the better, because then it makes it yours. Um, stripes. What I did is see this red bar. I lucked out. I like the color red where it was at, but I just threw red here. Like I turned this whole bar green, this whole chunk purple, this whole blue, and then I used it. And then I just saw where the colors went. I'm like, okay, that's a railing, that's a cable, that's a wire. Just keep playing with it. You know, just make sure you save in between. I mean, the worst you can do is screw it up and start over, right? Um, but as long as you remember, each one has to have a picture, a shade map, and a normal map, and then your UV doesn't. Um, the the only other thing is that billboard in the back is hangar beat details too I and mean, they use this one but I mean it's it's actually simple it just takes a lot of time to get the textures remember always start with a bigger texture than you need and shrink down to it and you know chop your textures up move them around don't make it look like the wall you know like that stone wall I did it had one big boulder right in the middle so I copied it and filled the space and then I had that one big boulder every centimeter you knew that I just copied and pasted so I had to take a chunk of brick and cover that up here. Just make sure you do it as many layers as you need to. Flatten it and save it. You'll make it look alright. Um, like I said, these are the this is the tutorial that I used to help me do the normal maps and shade maps and figure out what they were. This is the NVIDIA tool that I used. I mean, other than that, it's fairly simple. It's just very time consuming to get it to look good and look the way you want. But once you get a hanger that's yours, I mean, it's really good. By the way, the tank skins, exactly the same thing. If you can do a hanger, you can do a tank. They got shade maps, they got normal maps. The only thing I didn't go over that tanks have is called a CM, which is the collision map, which is what it looks like when it's blown up. Um, that's the only thing that's different. I uh, hope this was helpful. Post any questions you have, and I'll try and give you a hand.